Hello, it's Sam here again, and we're uh, back talking about upgrade your nutrition. So just a wee recap, if you haven't seen maybe the first video we did, what we're doing is in September, um, we came up with 28 challenges um, that we're going through to find simple ways to upgrade your nutrition. So the idea is it's not about cutting out food groups or cutting calories or not having any sugar or not having any dairy, none of that kind of thing. All we're trying to do is look at simple ways to get more good in. So more vegetables, more fresh fruit, more fresh foods, more freshly prepared foods, um, with the idea being that if you have more good, you probably want less bad naturally. So today, um, you can, if you would like this guide, um, just pop a comment down below this video and we'll send that on over to you. And, uh, and then you can play along and uh, share what you're doing. You don't need to do the same challenge that we do every day. You can pick anything on here. Have a go, send us a photo and send us a recipe if you've done one of the make your own uh, options on here. So, hashtag upgrade your nutrition. So, today we are talking about different ways to upgrade your yogurt. And to start with, I just want to talk about what is yogurt. Like, you've got different options in the supermarket. Now, I would normally always go for the luxury flavoured type uh, yogurt. I'm not having to go at any particular retailer here. This one is amazing. It's from the co-op. But, you know, it's a plain vanilla yogurt with a shed load of sugar in it um, because that's how they make it taste really good. Um, then you've got your sort of, you know, light and free 0% fat, 0% sugar versions. Um, but when you look at the ingredients, yeah, they have no added sugars, but they have added sweetness in there. So, and they have a lot of ingredients that you wouldn't normally think you would find in yogurt. Um, the ingredient you should find in yogurt is milk, and that should be it. Um, this is my, my top tip for you. This is my star find. I'm so happy with this. This is from the co-op. Authentic Greek, natural Greek yogurt. It's amazing. Um, I normally always shop at Sainsbury's, um, but it happens to be a co-op local to me, and I'm blown away with some of their um, own range stuff. It's really good quality. Um, anyway, so once you've, you know, if you can find a really good natural yogurt that you like, then you can do so many things with it. You can use it in savoury recipes as well, in place of mayonnaise. So, for example, you could add it to coleslaw or tuna or like anywhere you would normally put a lot of mayonnaise you could try with maybe a little bit of mayonnaise and a little bit of yogurt um, and then instead of buying a uh, flavored yogurt there are so many things you can add to your yogurt because let's face it eating plain yogurt on its own isn't very exciting but this is just i just went through my cupboards today so this none of this is especially for this video this is just things i had so you could add your porridge oats to yogurt. Um, obviously you can use things like maple syrup if you want a little bit of a sweetness or honey. Uh, raw honey is awesome. Um, chia seeds, I know a lot of people are really into chia seeds. I've not really kind of figured out really what to do with these yet. So if you've got any chia seed ideas, uh, let me know. Um, then there's your normal kind of seeds, pumpkin, sesame, um, tinned fruit. I always have tinned fruit in the cupboard because when I was little, um, if I didn't feel very well, my mum always gave me tinned peaches. Um, and I still kind of do that when I'm feeling a bit under the weather. It's a nice comfort food. Um, sultanas. Sultanas, banana, yoghurt and syrup. Can't really go wrong with that. Um, cinnamon. Another nice thing to add. Or nutmeg. And if you want to go a little bit tropical, try adding a little bit of coconut cream to your yogurt and giving it a good stir around and it just gives you a different flavour, have maybe some pineapple with it. It's almost like being on a desert island. <laughs> um, you've got yeah, nuts, um, things like flaxseed, you can add peanut butter, my favourite, um, ground almonds, did I say ground almonds already? And then obviously this is, this is all in your cupboard, this is before you even get to you know, the fresh fruit that you might have in the fridge. Um, so one final tip on what you could also do with your yogurt is uh, if you have a protein powder in the house, um, this is our latest one, Trim Protein, um, this is the vanilla flavour, we do have a chocolate flavour coming soon, but if you add a little bit of protein powder to yogurt, you basically come up with a vanilla flavoured or a chocolate flavoured yogurt with the 
uh, extra protein from the protein powder and the ingredients that you're already happy with that are in the protein powder. So I'm just going to mix them up to show you how easy it is. I'm just going to take a bit of a look how lush that is. A little bit of yogurt. And you don't need, well, I don't like very much this because um, I do have a massively sweet tooth, but you don't need very much. And it mixes really very well. Doesn't look like it's going to. But if you had that with some fresh raspberries or strawberries or something, to be honest, I reckon you could use that and make a cheesecake. I might have to test that out. Um, I think you could do like a crushed base with, well, Tim can eat it because I'm not trying to kill him, <laughs> but you could do like crushed nuts um, on, on the bottom and then like that mixed up um, and, uh, and some fruit on top. It would be like little mini cheesecakes. It's basically exactly the same as the vanilla yogurt, but with um, good quality whey protein and, uh, and good quality Greek yogurt. So that's some ideas of how you could upgrade your yogurt. Um, if you can take a photo, put it below with hashtag upgrade your nutrition, let us know your ideas. Um, that's, like I say, that's just literally what's in my cupboard. You probably have some other things that I've not thought of. Um, share a photo below and if you don't have a copy of this just leave a comment below for me to send that over to you and I'll sort that out for you at later today. Uh, any questions at all you can comment below as well and we'll uh, try and get back to you.